recording? Yeah. April 16, 2018, three IBC commissioners made headlines with this announcement. We regret to announce our resignation from the commission with immediately effect. But four months later, Conin Kada, Margaret Mochanya, and Paul Kurgat have taken back their words and returned to anniversary towers. Nkada and Mochanya made a dramatic comeback to IABC's sixth floor offices, with Kurgat expected to return on Monday. Sources within the commission disclosing that Nkada and Mochanya called their secretaries yesterday to confirm if Chebukati had changed their office locks to avert a standoff when they returned today. They arrived early morning, accompanied by their bodyguards. How the armed security officers were reassigned to them after their withdrawal when they resigned remains a mystery pointing to highly placed forces pulling the strings on the state of affairs in IBC. Chabukati was in his office all day long but did not meet Nkada and Mwachanya, clearly indicating that there was no love lost between the trio. The chairman reportedly miffed by their return months after they accused him of mismanaging the commission. For far too long and way too many times, the commission chair has failed to be the steady and stable hand that steers the ship in difficult times and gives direction when needed. The three commissioners pegging their return on a high court verdict two weeks ago that ruled their resignation irregular and unprocedural. This court is unable to hold that there is any vacancy in the commission following the alleged resignations which were communicated through the press statement. My finding is that if indeed the lawmakers intended that a vacancy through resignation may be communicated through any other means other than a letter addressed to the president, then the act would have explicitly stated as much. But Nkada, Mwachanya and Kurgat, while addressing a news conference on their exit day in April, disclosed that they had tendered their resignation letters to President Uhuru Kenyatta. But whether they did, and if the letters ever reached him, remains a mystery that Kenyatta has not acknowledged their resignation four months later or moved to fill the vacancies, puzzling many. Chebukati had written to the National Treasury to stop the trio's salaries and allowances and cancel their medical insurance scheme when they resigned. The commissioner's critical business next year, including the delicate boundaries delimitation exercise, Chebukati has in the meantime received the internal audit team report on the 33 billion shillings spent in last year's elections. Chebukati is saying the audit team's findings confirm the concerns raised by the commissioners and would form the basis for disciplinary actions that will be taken against the indicted officers. IBC CEO Ezra Chiloba, who is on suspension, has, according to sources in the commission, been indicted in the report. He has previously termed the internal audit team's findings predetermined and meant to justify his sucking. Francis Gashuri, Citizen TV.